melon when you're stuck in a bind. Paul Walter Melon, Paul Walter Melon, Paul Walter Melon, well he's not hard to find. When you hear the sick and you must find a substitute, Walter Melon is a choice. At least he's got the suit. My dear Mr. Walter Mellon, I'm requesting your help. A peculiar set of circumstances has prevented me from completing my mutiny on the bouncy. Let me try to explain. Miss with a menu, sailor? Captain, it's been apple mush day in and day out ever since we put out to sea. That's the honest truth, Captain! Gentlemen, I'll wager that you'll learn to appreciate this apple mush after a week without food. Cook, take the pot away! Captain, I protest. Who dares? Ah, Mr. Crisper. Is this a joke? No, it isn't a joke. It's a mutiny, and I take command of the ship. <laughs> You'll regret this, Mr. Crisper. You and your mateys. I'll be back! Cowards! Traitors! Farewell, Captain Fright. What's going on? Where's Captain Fright? Fright is no longer the ship's captain. I'm in command now. We shall take you to Turtle Island as planned. Oh, oh, yeah. oh big fish. Oh, oh. Hold on, cook. Mr. Crisper, we've got a bigger problem. Oh, here we go. Huh? Oh, what's this? Oh, the old message in the bottle, eh? Hmm. Oh, I hate it when they get stuck. Oh. Ahoy, Walter Mellon, hero for hire. Eighteenth day at sea. After the mutiny against Captain Fright, the cook and I were swallowed by a whale. Please replace me, because I promised to take Amelia safely to Turtle Island. You are my last and only hope. Signed, Fresher Crisper. Hello, Bitterbug. Still seaworthy? Good. I need a good cook. Madam Captain, your take. A skiff to starboard! Sailor, take the helm. <laughs> Where's the skiff, sailor? Starboard, Madam Captain, sir. You sure fill out them britches nice, sir. <laughs> Can it be? Yes, the captain! About time he got back. Uh, thank you for the rescue, my man. Uh, keep the change. A uh, two-dollar tip. That won't help much to buy me an engine. Mr. Crisper, we were ever so worried. And what do you call that? Uh, I'm just the cook. Well, cook, let's hope you brought some new recipes, cause we're sick of apples. Ahoy! Set the course for Turtle Island, mateys. Sail to starboard, Captain. 
sweet vengeance is mine. Bombazi! I'll get my ship back. Go and fetch Jolly Roger. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, we're gonna party tonight. Master Swab, this ride is all black and filthy. Clean this Jolly Roger at once. Sail to port. What's the color of her flag? Clean. It's the clean Jolly Roger. It's fright on the deck. Watch how you're steering this boat, you blackguards. There is no way you are going to scratch Bouncy's new paint job with those grapnels. Find something else. Oh, All right, men. Let's use the old octopus boarding trick. Yay! Wild octopuses! Little children first. Place cannons. Shut patches. Check the mainmast. You saved us from those dreadful pirates. For that, I will let you know my secret and the purpose of this voyage. I hope to find Grandad's treasure. You're hunting for treasure? Shh! Yes, a treasure. And it's buried somewhere on Turtle Island. I've even got a map of the island. You've come well prepared. Turtle Island to starboard! Land! Women! Me! Women! Right. And women! Full port starboard ahead! Oh, safe on land at last! Now, where's the treasure? Starting line is over here. Do you think they're cannibals? Let me take the lead. I know how to talk to savages. Good day, gentlemen. We come in peace. Please don't take any notice of us. We're only passing. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Fresher Crisper, captain of the Bouncy, anchored off the island and in search of a treasure trove. And this is my crew. Charmed, I'm sure. Enrico Caruso, shipwrecked opera singer. And here's my faithful Wednesday. He sings great harmony. According to the map, we should start here. Not to worry. Bitterbug has the solution to that problem. Come on, throw your dice. Snake eyes. Two? You could hardly throw less. I've never had any luck at games. Come on, you two! Six, seven, and eight. You're not going to believe this, but I just bumped into your double back there. Ah, we're back to square one! But the map says this is the spot. Oh, hold on, I've got it! Sir, do you mind? Ah. Here it is! Oh, my. Africa! Paint it! Grandad's treasure! Yes, yes, yes! No, no, no! <gasps> no, this is my treasure, sweetie. So, we meet again, Mr. Crisper. Yes, Captain Freight. Now, open that chest! The treasure is mine! Mine, all mine! Ah, I'm rich! I'm rich! <laughs> Wait a minute! Click! What's this? This is incredible! These ingots look just like soap! They are! Grandad had a soap factory! These soap bars are of great sentimental value to me. Soap. Sentimental soap? Well, shiver me timbers. There's enough soap in this chest to clean me ship for ten years. Sprick and span. <laughs> How dare you? 
Oh, yes! I can wash the ship, then all the crew will wash their hair, their feet, their underwear. Oh, oh no! We got all this stuff with the head up with on, polishing and washing! We're through with you, Fright. We join the mutiny and Mr. Crisper. Two mutinies in one cartoon. Ah, who needs you anyway? Me and Polly can find another crew to clean the seven seas. Uh, I don't think so. Hey, big boy. Crisper want a cracker? Is this a joke? It looks more like a mutiny to me. My boxes. Soap my socks! Don't forget me now, Cap! I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back again. You haven't heard the last of Fright. Ah, you haven't got that crease quite right! I've got your crease, you two-timing chicken. And so, as the tide turns, we whisk Captain Fright with his bounty of soap around the Turtle Islands doing laundry until dawn for all the natives making the world a cleaner place to live. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. Los Angeles in the year 2025. The once great urban oasis has been reduced to an industrial wasteland. Machines have evolved. Once they were the tools of convenience, now machines have declared war against mankind. Hmm. This doesn't look good. Homo sapiens ahead. Prepare to lock, load, aim, and level them. <laughs> Young man, calm down. <laughs> Thanks to our secret weapon, none of the robots can get to us. What's this? <laughs> Who in the world invented this slippery floor polish? We are powerless to gain any traction and fall apart. Who did it? Tell me who. Who? Oh. A 20th century human called Farrah Minor in the year 1997 employing a complex combination of chemicals never mixed before, she created the slippery polish that plagues you now. The robots decided to send the latest prototype Cyberman T-1000 back through time to 1997 so that he could stop Farrah Minor from inventing her miracle polish. Through their spy network, the rebels discovered this diabolical scheme. Therefore, to thwart the robots' plan, the humans sent their own powerful android back in time to protect Farrah Minor. Good. The year is set to the exact day Farrah Minor invented the miracle polish. It walks like a man, talks like a man, spits like a man, but it's so much more. It's a Moppinator. Able to mop and shine a 20-story building in one stroke, and he does windows too. The Moppinator must not fail to protect Farrah Minor. Now to find Fera Mina. But this doesn't look like 1997 Los Angeles. Ah! Down boy! Uh -oh. It appears they calculated wrong. About 8,000 years wrong. What is this? A DeLorean? In the Stone Age? Marty! This isn't LA 97! Great Scott! It's prehistoric downtown Burbank! Ah, the time-space continuum must have suffered a pressure problem, which has put its temporal convector out of order! Sir, may I have a word with you? It seems I'm going to be delayed here in prehistoric Burbank. Would you be so kind to deliver this to Walter Mellon in 1997? Whoa! A mopper arm! No problem! We'll take your arm back to the future! To Walter Mellon! Ha! You're leaking now, you little coward. Just wait till I straighten you out. Walter Mellon, I got a message.
message for you. You made a mistake, young man. I certainly don't need a false arm. It's Moppinator's arm. Moppinator? <laughs> Thrilled to meet you. No, it's Moppinator's arm, and it's got a message for you. <laughs> well, I guess I'm leaving you in good hands. See ya. Dear Walter, I am stuck in the prehistorics. I am therefore asking you to take my place and protect Farrah Minor, who is being hunted by the terrible T-1000. Well, I'd be thrilled to help you, Moppinator, but there's a slight hitch. I'm not mechanical, and I'm not electronic. My Moppinator arm will temporarily attach itself to you. This will transfer all my abilities to your body for the next 48 hours. After that, you'll return to the normal man that you are. Walter Melon, ultimate temp of superheroes. Los Angeles, December 1997. The T-1000 Cyborg arrives on its mission to seek out and then stop Farrah Miner. Your days are numbered. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Fair Minor located. You want a taste? Orange juice, a hard-boiled egg, radish juice, chicken stock, a tiny drop of strawberry syrup, and a chaser of cod liver oil. Cod liver? What's that good for? For a start, it freshens up the gears. Uh-oh, he looks like trouble. Farrah Minor? Yeah? A glass of oil, please. <laughs> On the rocks. A little 1040 down the hatch. Mm. Well, this is a first. I know it's difficult to believe, but you see, I'm a robot, Toots. I've come from the future to protect you because you're in great danger. We've got to leave now. So I guess you believe in Santa Claus, too, huh? Yes, I do, Miss Miner. Yo ho ho! Let's get out of here. So, you're finally being reasonable. Halt! Halt! Dark dead batteries! Keep running. We must hurry. Why is Santa shooting at us with a really strange gun? The smelly diaper gun. It can only be the T-1000. The T-1000? A fourth and a half generation Cyberman. He's liquid metal and capable of transforming himself into absolutely anything. Absolutely anything? I believe that's what I said. But never fear, my mechanical instinct can sniff him out without fail. <laughs> yeah, right. This way, he'll never find us in here. Now everything's going according to my plans. The most important thing is to carry on like normal and not be noticed. <laughs> no one notices you, Moppinator, except me. Hold still, Farrah, and the future is mine. Arr, stupid luggage! Are you carrying any metallic objects? Certainly not, sir. I mean, I'm clean. Uh, but you're a machine! Uh, uh, security! They spotted you! This way! Allow me to drive. It'll be safer. Moppinator is deactivated. I'm alone. Well, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I'm out of here. Oh, great. He found me. This ought to stop him. 
Resistance is futile. Halt, Farah! Prepare to be assimilated! Oh no! A dead end! Help! Lovinator! Back up, you stupid machine! Your little toy doesn't scare me, you villain! Missed me, mop boy! Take this! I think I will! How do you like your toast? Then maybe I should bowl you over! <laughs> this is your last strike! Slam dunk time! Your best shot, little girl. Whoa! Whoa! And now, my little pretty, time to diaper your nighty. Oh my, he's in deep yogurt now. What flavor do you think he'll be? Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> Maybe T-1000 isn't so bad after all. He's gonna make some kids very happy. Yeah, and some grown-ups too. My fruit juice smoothly mixed with the yogurt has made a miraculous floor polish. I'll be rich! <laughs> See ya! Mission accomplished. Well, I guess I'll just go alone towards new adventures. Hasta la vista, baby. No, no problemo.